Okay, Assalamu alaikum and a very warm greeting to all of you. So before I begin, let me just congratulate each and every one of you for being a student here in UITM Perak branch. Okay, so you are special in a way, you have received the recognition and you are being accepted in UITM Perak branch. Okay, my name is uh, Dr. Putri Rohani. I am a representative of uh, Academy Pengajian Bahasa UITM Perak. So, uh, on behalf of this department, we welcome you, all right, to UITM Perak. Let me just uh, briefly explain what uh, Academy Pengajian Bahasa, all right, provide uh, in terms of uh, English courses and so on, yeah. Okay, I have stated just now. Okay, I am from Academy of Language Studies. Okay, we offer courses especially on English. All right, diploma and degree. All right. Uh, besides Sri Iskandar campus, we also have a campus in Tapa. We also have an Academy of Language Studies over there. Okay. All right. So, what is this Academy of Language Studies, or another word, Academy Pengajian Bahasa, all about? So, Academy of Language Studies, or we call it at as APB or ALS, was established actually for the purpose of coordinating the learning and teaching of English as a second language, ESL. Yeah? So the second is with the setting up of this nerve center, UITM's language curriculum was formulated okay, to cater for the ever-growing number of students who need to be proficient in the English language. Okay? So the next one, so this language competency gives UITM students a competitive age in the job market. Okay, so we move on to the next slide. So the immediate goal of the department is actually to equip all of you. So with the essential language skills, one, to excel in their respective academic discipline, and to add value of being multilingual as to compete in the local and global job markets. So, uh, in terms of the workforce, okay, since I mentioned just now, we have two campuses. So, Sri Iskandar campus, we have 27, all right, teaching staff and has increased now to almost uh, 39, yeah. And the Tampah campus, we have like 20 teaching staff. Okay, what are the courses offered by APB? So, if you are first master students, you need to take ELC 1 to 1. Okay, so it's called Integrated Language Skills, which focus more on listening. After you have done and complete ELC 1 to 1, the following semester, you have to take ELC 151. Okay, it will focus more on reading but it is integrated with other four skills also okay and the final uh, course will be elc 231 all right so this will be the last one where the focus will be on writing okay so let me talk briefly on what is elc 121 especially to all of you you have to take this course it's compulsory so in the course you will be exposed to, by the end of the semester, you'll be able to demonstrate, actually, the ability to listen attentively and express ideas confidently. Okay, so this is the main purpose. And the second one is actually to the ability to listen and respond in writing by applying variety of listening skills. And the last one is ability to read and write at intermediate level based on selected reading materials. So this is ELC 1 to 1. Okay, so there is no final exam for ELC 1 to 1. So the breakdown will be these four assessments. Yeah? So the lecturer in your course will brief you in detail about the assessment and so on. So, you have to take all the assessment. You cannot skip one, okay? Not even one, okay? So, they will, she or he will talk more on what the assessment will be about, okay? So, after you have completed and successfully uh, take this course and passed, you will have to take 
a following course which is ELC 151. Okay, so the ELC 151 focus I mentioned just now on reading, but it will also be integrated with other uh, specific skill. Yeah, so ELC 151. Okay, by the end of the semester, you have the ability to read and write. And then the second one, ability to verbally express and justify opinions when interacting during social communication. And finally, the third one is demonstrate the ability to listen and respond to various discourse at higher intermediate level. So that is the purpose. So we hope by the end of the course, you will be able to demonstrate all these abilities. Okay? So I'm going to move to the assessment. Okay, for ELC 151. Okay, for here, you notice that there are four assessments. And I mentioned earlier, all the assessments you need to take. You cannot skip, not even one. Okay, so you will take about 100% of ongoing assessment. Yeah, so we're going to move to the last uh, course for diploma, which is called ELC 231. Okay, this is called Integrated Language Skills 3 Writing. For this, okay, we hope by the end of the semester, you'll be able to speak confidently. You'll be able to respond to questions right, by applying a variety of reading strategies. And the last one, ability to write an expository essay. Okay? And then the assessment breakdown will be on five assessment. There's no final, it's ongoing. The same thing with other two courses. You cannot skip not, not even one. Yeah? You have to take all four courses. All four of the assessment for this ELC 231. All right? We also have degree, so finally hoping that if you have taken ELC on diploma and then if you continue to do it in UITM, these are the degree courses offered. Okay, ELC 590, English for Oral Presentation, ELC 650, English for Professional Interaction, and finally EWC 661, English for Report Writing. So that's all for now. So thank you. So all the best for your coming semester. Thank you.